Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Meryl Lee here, and what a crazy title, huh? Balancing in my, balancing my hormones and the airport. Good morning, Karen. You know, this isn't about balancing my hormones at the airport. It's about balancing my hormones and the airport. Okay. Let me, let me turn the scope around and explain it and turn my favorite tunes down with the Almond Brothers. Good morning everyone, Meryl Lee here and um, I'm at the airport picking up my honey pie, but his plane is late. So thank you for the hearts. Um, yeah, so his plane's late and so I thought I would do a quick scope and um, just share with you some thoughts that I was having while I'm waiting about my hormone balancing. Good morning, kitty. Thanks for the hearts, guys. So I'm here at the airport picking up John and his plane's late. So I'm sitting in the car at the cell phone parking lot listening to the Almond Brothers and um, thought I'd talk about my hormone balancing situation. Okay, so cool. So this is for especially a lot of you gals that are like dealing with hormonal fluctuations, right? And the reason why I'm thinking of this is because of what I did um, this morning, I so uh, so let me let me start from the beginning. Okay, cool. And welcome everyone, and good morning. So um, and on scopes, it's not. I don't like you know go through the whole. Hey, thanks for the hearts. Welcome everyone. I like to dive into my content. So anyway, I work with a family nurse practitioner who's very holistic, and um, I never even met her in person. This is like the way I choose to work with some of my my natural health care. She's out in. In, uh, New Mexico Santa Fe and I do phone consults and we do my blood work and we do um, you know we get a whole evaluation we have phone consults and so then d depending on what my needs are you know she deals with a compounding pharmacist all right this is something that I recommend to like a lot of my clients who want to balance their their hormones so then according to my specific needs um, and this is this would be true for any of you who would work with a, a family nurse practitioner who worked in this model um, you get a uh, cream or uh, some type of supplementation to help balance your hormones naturally so anyway I have a progesterone cream that I use and I also use my essential oils but um, which I think really augment the whole process of balancing hormones because that's how essential oils work they like go in they identify a need in your body or your beingness and then they work to create balance but I also use a progesterone cream so anyway here's the point this morning um, I by mistake picked up my hormone cream and I put it on my face thinking it was a face cream that I use so I put my progesterone cream all over my face and actually my dose is by mistake I did this and my dose is a pea size amount you know on a thin skinned area in the body twice a day so anyway here I am rubbing it all over my face thinking it's my face cream and I thought holy cow I gotta get this stuff off because um you know I didn't know what was gonna happen so I real quick ran into the bathroom and I scrubbed my face and I washed it off and um you know just thought okay we'll see what happens here so anyway I'm sitting in the cell phone parking lot here at the airport waiting for John's plane to arrive and um, so some of you probably don't know me so you don't know what to compare it to but I'm like looking at my skin and thinking oh my gosh it actually looks a little bit shinier it actually looks a little bit better it actually looks a little more clear so I am thinking and I'm gonna double check with the compounding pharmacist I'm gonna double check with my family nurse practitioner but to see if topical application of progesterone on the face can be helpful 
right? So that might be a possibility. And if I find that out, I don't know, would you like to let me, would you like me to let you guys know what happens here with that? But I do have to also say that there's a lot of other things that we can do to balance our hormones. And um, especially as we get into these, um, not only the age, but oh my gosh, just life in general. That sun's a little bright for me. Just life in general. Stress can totally, you know, blow our circuits a little bit right with our adrenals and which has a cascading effect to all of the you know other endocrine glands that can put us in a state of imbalance where we're feeling lousy so what we always want to do is be balancing our hormones so anyway without going off on a tangent of that because I feel like I could talk forever about adrenals and about you know thyroid and all the other important glands that have, um, have hormonal stuff I'm mostly talking about the progesterone estrogen issue and feeling good and progesterone by the way ladies is like the beauty hormone so to wrap it up here because I think John's plane just arrived um, is that I did this mistake this morning with my progesterone cream. I put it on my face by accident thinking it was my face cream, but I saw really positive results. So I'm going to check out from my compounding pharmacist if that is, um, you know, if that's pretty okay to put it on our face. Meanwhile, for those of you who are interested in, you know, doing this kind of stuff for yourself, I highly recommend natural approaches. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting a few comments here, which I can read, even though the sun's in my eyes. Yeah, uh, I crack you up. Good. I like to be a little humorous and fun and high energy on my scopes, even though I haven't done one for a while. But I am getting ready to start scoping a whole lot more uh, because I will be attending Young Living's convention next week, and I'll be giving Scopity Scope updates. That's my little name for my scopes. I just, you know, hear that over and over in my head, my Scopity Scopes. So I will be giving updates and um, I hope you follow along those of you who might be interested thank you for the hearts um, share these to any of your friends who are interested and in learning about it I'll be giving a lot of uh, natural health tips and a whole lot more and have a great day everyone sending you lots of love thanks for the hearts and catch you all later on the next scopity scope bye